What is going on today guys, Tomcat here, and welcome back to another episode of Spin Tires. Now in this episode, if you haven't been watching this series, we're on the Plans Extreme 4x4 map, if you're if this is the first episode that you're seeing. If you're back it, after seeing episodes 1 and 2, basically what we've done is we've started back here at the garage, and we went all the way, if you see, kind of like this brown, orangey trail right here, we followed that all the way to here. And so our objective is to get down the rest of this trail to this really hard section, which I suppose is really hard because it looks like it's really hard and it's marked unlike any of the other sections on the map. So our objective is to get there, get through there, and see what happens after that. So we're still in Brute's YJ because this thing has been trucking along like a tank. This thing is awesome. And as far as this goes, oh, also, before I forget, make sure that you guys click the little bell to make sure you're notified when I upload so you guys don't miss an episode. And also, if you're watching, um, if you just clicked onto this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button to see more daily Spin Tires content and other games as well. So with that all out of the way, let's go ahead and get straight into it. Now, we're going to go ahead and get right into this section where we left off in the last episode. I feel like we shouldn't have too much of a problem here because this Jeep is really, really grippy. But, at the same time, it, mm, it's starting to get a little hairy because we're down now into that notch, and that's not where I wanted to be. The notch is is kind of a, it's kind of a sketchy spot because if you get, oh, if you get your Jeep bound up, you, it can be bad. But if you, if you manage to get out of it like that, you are fine. Like, it is literally no problem at all just to keep just going and going and going and going. Like, damn, dude. That's insane. That's intense. That is insane. Okay. I'm going to run it out to the edge. And then bring it back. Come on. I'm trying to work the wheel back and forth. We may need a different angle, though. Because if we don't run a different angle, we may just get completely bound up. Trying to start it out and oh nope 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 Oh shit. Um There's really nowhere to save this to, is there? Damn, okay. Um Or like there's no way to make it roll over or anything. So that is where these roads start to come into play. Cause here's what we're gonna do. We're going to grab Spun's MJ, and we are going to get on the road, and we're going we're gonna to literally run this thing hard, at like as fast as we possibly can, up to, where the, um, up to where the YJ is stuck. Because if we can get this thing up there and rescue the YJ, we should be able to just get it to the, um, get it to the difficult section no problem at all. And I gotta give it to this thing, it's actually pretty quick, for what it is. Alright, we're gonna make a left, yeah, we're gonna make a left up here. An automatic, and then shift it into high. Make a hard left. Hard left, should have been hard left, don't cut. <laughs> Spin tires with rally directions, bro. But as long as we stay on this road, we should be able to just bypass that trail and get right to where we need to go, no problem at all. Because that's what I really like about this map. I mean, if I had to rerun that entire trail to get there to rescue it, oh my god, that would have sucked. That would have been horrible. I mean, it would have been, wouldn't have been horrible because, you know, because that trail is fun. But it would have been horrible because sometimes you just don't want to do that. Sometimes you have to rescue, you know, a buddy's vehicle. And that's why I say this is really well set up. It's a really well thought out map. They've thought about these things. Making sure we're on the right road. And this pretty much ends up right where we need to be. Should be able to start it off in high. Yeah, no problem. I'll got, I, like, I gotta admit, driving this makes me really curious as to how it, it would do on that same trail. I'm sure it would do great. Um, it's a really capable rig. Um, and it actually really makes me want to follow the YJ in this. But I'm not sure though. Like, we're already committed with the YJ. The YJ is like, where we're at, we're already committed and we have to, uh, in my mind anyway, we're already committed and we gotta make that thing go. 
So that's what we're still going to focus on. At least until we complete that really hard section of trail. Where are we at now? Okay, just staying. I need to keep checking the map because sometimes on maps like this, what they do is they will divert the main road off onto a trail and they won't really tell you until after you've been on the trail for a while. So you feel like, um, what am I? <laughs> You're like, uh, wait a second. I didn't want to go this way. So you just kind of sit there. And then you look at the map and you're like, oh, well, crap. But um, what I was also, now, something I actually really wanted to tell you guys is the next time I go off-roading in, um, in real life, I'm going to film the whole thing. It's going to be super, super fun. going to film the whole thing. And what we're going to do is we're going to take, we're going to take my Jeep, maybe Jeep Guys, well, Jeep Guys Jeep has a bent drive shaft right now, so we're not going to take Jeep Guys Jeep. But um, we're gonna take uh, my friend um, on uh, on Instagram. He's C underscore Javelin, um, just because he's got a, a Jeep CJ and a Javelin. He's got a bunch of like he's got a bunch of um, kind of random random older vehicles that are really really cool. Put it that way. Like that's the best way to describe it. Is a lot of kind of random older vehicles that are really really cool. He's got a Jeep uh, J10. He's got two CJ5s. One of them works. One of them doesn't. Um, he's the guy that actually bought my old CJ5 from me, um, and then I bought the XJ after that, and he has been, um, he's actually been modifying that particular CJ, um, and I'm actually, should probably show you guys, I want to show you, show it to you guys sometime, because he's trying to fit, he's going to try and fit some 33, I think 1450s on it at some point, and those are going to be nasty, he's going to go spring over axle, 33, four, or 35, 1450s, I think, 33, 1450s, or 35, 1450s, one of the two, um, but he's gonna go spring over axle, and it's gonna be a monster, like, it's gonna be crazy, Let's see if we can get, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, you know what, I know this thing can make it up this hill, but since we're in emergency YJ rescue mode, we're just gonna winch it, and we gotta get there quickly. We're in emergency YJ rescue mode, and we gotta get there quickly. And I'm, <laughs> I'm determined. Put it that way. I am super determined to get it there. Go! Oh, I was trying to get into high before it, before it just kind of clunked into the wall. Damn! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! There it is! There it is! There it is! Hey! Oh! crap. <laughs> it was like, and nope. On up the side. Not bad. Alright, throwing it back in high. I gotta stop. And I'm gonna, yeah, okay, just go, well. Yeah, just go, uh, yeah, just go this way, because that's where the YJ is. That's where the subject in question is. And I gotta admit, when this thing barrels down a trail, it does a damn good job of it. Like, look at that. It just goes right up the hills. It just bounces and jumps. Not bad. Okay, the YJ should be just ahead. And as long as we don't flip the MJ, we should be fine. And I'm gonna put the MJ in low range because I really don't want to flip it. We've fl already flipped the YJ, so... <laughs> God, I almost feel bad for the TJ at this point. The TJ is just kind of, like, sitting off on its own. It's probably, like... It's probably like, why doesn't anybody want to, like, drive me on the trails? It's like, off-road me. Take me four-wheeling. We will in later episodes, trust me. I know there's probably some TJ fans watching right now that are probably like... Um, dude, like, bruh, why aren't you using the TJ? There's also probably an angry mob of XJ guys that are like, uh, you, well, no, actually, there wouldn't be an angry mob of XJ guys because I'm using the MJ, which is basically an XJ truck, so it's okay. It's okay, there's no, no problems there. But before we, uh, before we do anything else, though... We are about to reset the time. Oh, crap. Oh, come on. 
New! I think we did it the wrong way. There, yeah, we did it the wrong way. <laughs> and I don't know why we did it the wrong way. There's the YJ. Okay, so it's rescue time. Just gotta get the MJ out of the mud. First off, once the MJ is out of the mud, we got a little bit of a straight shot. Just gonna really go to the edge and stay out of the notch, like the trail notch on the edge. MJ's high centering. And again, in the interest of a rescue, we're just going to pull it up. Right round off to the side. Okay. This is a weird approach. I will, I will verify that 100%. But... Oh, that's not going to work. Okay, that's not going to work. What we really need to do is we really need to get it... Hmm. Yes. That's first off what we needed. And then secondly what we needed, or what we need, will be... To disconnect that, and then hook this up, pull it right back on over onto its side, and that should be enough for it to be started, or to get started. Alright, it runs, and it works. Okay, it moves. So now, <laughs> don't you dare. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm glad we have the other, the, the MJ here. Because it's, it's time for a second rescue. Oh, come on. I don't know, guys. I don't know if that's, if that's rescuable. I mean, I'm sure it's rescuable. I just don't know if it's rescuable from that angle. What I also don't know is how far up here we can go without like without this thing being able to actually pull it. Um uh, maybe this far? If we pull it a little to the edge. No, that won't work cuz that's the wrong angle. Damn it. I mean, it's pulling it. Whether or not it's pulling it the wrong direction is questionable, or the right direction is questionable, but... Just trying to get this thing a little further. A little tiny bit. Oh god, a little tiny bit further, because... Uh, there, stop. Stop. Park and brake off, and pull. It's on a rock. It's on a rock and it's like, it's... God, it's being difficult. Oh god, the automatic gearbox took longer to shift than I wanted it to. There, there, there. Ooh, maybe. That might do some good. Uh, disconnect it and see if it rolls back. Oh, it is. Okay, it's facing the wrong way, but it works. It's facing the wrong way, but it works. Holy crap, guys. It's facing the wrong way, but it works. And if you guys enjoyed this episode, um, I hope to see you guys next time. Don't forget to leave a like. Tell me in the comments below what you thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later. This episode was it went differently than expected, but, but um, yeah. So we'll pick it up next time. Hope you guys enjoyed.